when we talk about childhood trauma, we mainly talk about physical abuse, sexual abuse, or any other form of abuse that is overtly visible and can be spotted. But most of us do not know that childhood trauma is also unintentional abandonment and neglect, the absence of your caretaker, your caretaker being unable to take care of you because of this or that reason. For you to experience childhood trauma, it's not necessary that one of your parents was a narcissist. You could have had a healthy parent and still have childhood trauma. Hi, I am Danish, a narcissistic abuse recovery professional. And today I'll be talking about what exactly is childhood trauma, what it looks like and how it plays a role in your adulthood and the relationships that you have. Childhood trauma, as I said earlier in the beginning of this video, you, you define it as being physically hit, psychologically abused, something that can be, that can be spotted overtly and things alike. But childhood trauma, when you look into the depth of it, you come to an understanding that unintentional neglect by a parent who was so busy in work trying to make the ends meet, the parent that couldn't be present while you were developing, that is also traumatic. Many people would come to me, you know, after going through narcissistic abuse and then when I would ask them, a question or two about their childhood, they would be confused because they would say, well, I do not have any kind of traumatic event big enough that I can remember and classify as trauma or even abuse. But when we dig deeper, clearly there are patterns that show up, that come up to the surface, this or that way, that show us that there was trauma there was unintentional or intentional neglect. You have to understand that trauma isn't something that is violent, that is like as big as facing an accident or surviving an accident. Trauma can be your parent just not paying attention. Trauma can be you having to put in so many efforts to get the attention of your parent or having them see you as being worthy of love. Trauma can be taking up a role of an adult in your early childhood because your parent wasn't available, because your siblings needed someone. Trauma can be simply you being left somewhere with some other people who had to take care of you and your parent being busy because of trying to make the ends meet and you know, as a result of that, you have those childhood wounds. It is said that almost every one of us has the parental wound in one or the other way. Because after all, those parents who are healthy cannot be perfect. And unintentionally, in one or the other way, they end up hurting us or we end up getting traumatized because of what was happening in our childhood. So it's very important to understand that uh, when we come to understanding what happened with, with our childhood, what happened with us as children, it is not necessary that you would find experiences as big as being physically hit. Perhaps you were fed, you were clothed well, but your parent was never there, which is again a form of false love, materialistic love. Some parents try to provide everything materialistically, money, this and that, considering or assuming that that is what love is and that is what is enough for the child. But least they know that it is a form of abandonment. It is a form of childhood trauma. It is a way of inflicting wounds to this child. So if you're someone who isn't sure about what happened in their childhood or you think there was nothing that happened, Maybe in a rare case that would have been the case, but it is highly likely that if you ended up in a narcissistic relationship and stayed for a long time, there was something in the childhood that was going on which made this environment with a narcissist a familiar one, which made you feel like as if you were back in home. The intensity of it, the push and pull and everything. 
So childhood trauma also can be subtle and hidden in case your parent was a covert one. A covert narcissist is someone who is not physically violent or is not aggressive in a way that you can point it out. A covert narcissistic parent is someone who tells you something but through his or her actions you get to experience something else. So, so this is a basis of cognitive dissonance and chronic gaslighting where, where the root begins. And in case your, your parent was a covert narcissist, it would be very difficult for you to recognize the whole traumatic stuff that you have experienced but that doesn't mean you didn't experience trauma. Just remember that being fed, not being physically hit, being clothed well, being financially provided, all of these factors are not enough for a parental relationship to be qualified as you know, non-traumatic. Let let's call it that. Trauma can be there, you can experience trauma even when everything else was completely okay and perfect such as being fed and clothed and extra things. Being fed, being clothed, being financially provided, being taken care of materialistically, it is not enough for us to qualify a relationship between the parent and the child as completely healthy. A parent could be doing all of those things but can be absent at the same time which can be very traumatizing, very stressful for the child. I hope today in this episode I covered what childhood trauma is, what it can look like and how hidden it can be. I will talk with you very soon. Till then, let the healing begin.